being banned altogether. Wait, who is and who is I can't tell you, otherwise that'll be But there's no social media bias against conservatives, honest! I mean, if you literally tweet about how you want to murder the president, you'll not only retain your account, you'll get verified. If you tweet racist bile about how you want white people to die, you'll not only retain your account, you'll get verified. But there's no social media bias against conservatives. Terror group Hamas still has an account. Jew-hating gay basher Louis Farrakhan still has an account. The people who threatened to kill Mike Cernovich's baby still have accounts. This verified Media Matters reporter who threatened violence still has an account. The actor who called for putting Baron Trump in a cage with paedophiles still has an account. But there's no social media bias against conservatives, so <laughs> was banned for targeted harassment against but CNN reporters can literally show up at an old lady's house, harass and dox her, but that's not targeted harassment. Supporter of President Trump's received a slew of online abuse after American news network CNN publicly shamed her. Goldfarb was viciously attacked online after the short interview spread like wildfire. CNN reporters can intimidate and threaten to dox a private citizen over a meme, but that's not targeted harassment. Because as we know, there's no social media bias against conservatives. CNN. Trump is trying to shut down the media. Also CNN. Lobbies big tech to shut down the media. Now I'm sure the fact that Twitter and <laughs> tweeted at the exact same time about <laughs> as ban is just a coincidence. And I'm sure that BuzzFeed tweeting about it at 4.45, AP at 4.46, then New York Times, followed by the Washington Post and Politico, almost like they were all tipped off by Twitter beforehand, after this BuzzFeed writer lobbied to get <laughs> banned, while Fox News didn't get the memo that <laughs> was about to be banned, is all just one big coincidence. There's no collusion between big tech and corporate media outlets that want to shut down their competition because as we all know there's no social media bias against conservatives. And the fact that this all happened the day after big tech leaders testified in front of Congress so Jack Dorsey wouldn't have to face questions about this is also just a coincidence. Because as we know, there's no social media bias against conservatives. But Paul, my private company. Oh, shut the fuck up. Social media is the new public square. They're colluding with lawmakers. They're colluding with corporate media giants to silence dissidents. I'm done with your excuses and intellectual cowardice. I'm done with your glib myopia. This is a free speech crisis. If you don't think 20 SJWs working at Twitter or Facebook getting to decide who has free speech is a problem, then I'm done with you. Sign the petition in the description. I'm gonna ride it until the wheels fall off. You can ban us all, but at least what we did in the moment mattered. At least we were part of a movement that will reverberate throughout history. And you can't censor that. You can silence individuals, but you can never silence ideas.